All right, we're live in five seconds, so uh, let's get down to five seconds. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tank Fishing Talk Show brought to you by Bass Fishing Network Live and proudly sponsored by Bass Bully Nation. We are uh, we have special guest uh, owner of Samson's Lures, Mr. Bur Bo Merkel, on the show. How you doing tonight, man? Doing pretty good. How are you? Doing good. Um, I want to start off by just saying, you know, welcome to the show, first off. And uh, tell us a little bit about how you got into making custom baits. Um. Uh, really, it's just uh, been an avid bass fisherman <clears throat> since I was a child, and uh, I've seen dragonflies as the first lure I wanted to make. Uh, I'd be fishing everything, just throwing everything I got, and I'd watch a monster come out of the water after dragonfly. And nobody made a good dragonfly, so I figured someone's got to. Right. Did you, uh, so I'm guessing you made a, a bait based off of a dragonfly? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I called it the ugly bug. I made several versions, a uh, uh, little foam covered wood, uh, ultra lightweight uh, deal. And I lost a bunch of monsters. <laughs> right. But uh, uh, you just tanker and, and play until you get something good. And uh, I've wound up with something now you can cast with heavy line and uh, and and wear the big bass out. You know, I got my first double D this past year off of one. Really? Yeah. Where, where exactly was you uh, fishing at? I was fishing a little reservoir uh, about 20 minutes from the house here in Tennessee. And it was, uh, I noticed about between 6.30 and 7 in the morning, that's when the big ones seemed to be more active. And uh, uh, so I, I've caught several four or five pounders. You know, I was getting excited about that little lake. And finally, that one morning, uh, I think the day after my birthday, me and my dad was out there, and I hooked into an 11-2. Really? Yeah, uh, 28 inches long. She's kind of skinny, but she was a big beast. What What's your favorite color in your uh, ugly bug? Uh, same as my favorite color and everything. I'm just a big fan of blue and black. Okay, uh, then. Uh, I like dark colors. Uh, a lot of times I fish the shadows anyhow, especially summertime, dog days. You don't want to be in the, uh, in the sun because, you know, bass don't have eyelids. Right. They don't like it. But, uh, uh, they, I've always I've always enjoyed using the darker colors. Uh, I've seen people wear them out though on uh, all your bright colors. I think it just comes down to what gives the fisherman the confidence. Right. What's your What's your favorite way to use your uh, dragonfly ugly bug? Um, fish them a lot like a pop R, where you you'll twitch and pop and pause. <clears throat> I would usually like to maybe give it three good hard pops and get their attention, get them looking. And and then let it pause and see that dragonfly profile on the water. And uh, a lot of times, you know, through the little fish, you know, they'll hit anything. It seems like they'll chase it down. But it was the bigger fish. I'd usually get them on that five, ten second pause. Do you have a, a favorite setup you like to use with it? Uh, yeah, I, I prefer uh, any kind of a twitch and pop and walk the dog. Uh, type bait I prefer a, like an open faced because uh, you're gonna you're gonna be working with variable weights you know some lures are bigger some are smaller different materials and you want something you don't have to adjust constantly you won't be able to throw that lure on when you see where you want to work and uh, and know that it's you know not gonna short cast your backlash and ruin your morning what's your favorite time of the year to fish your uh, ugly bug 
Uh, my favorite time is summer. Uh, uh, dog days of summer when nobody's catching them on top water. And uh, fish early mornings, fish the shadows. It just seems like fall, I needed a bigger bait. You know, they're, they're after bigger prey. But uh, early, late spring to through all the way through late summer, that was my best time. All righty. Well, uh, explain a little bit about what matching the hatch is and how you go about doing that. Uh, well, matching the hatch is uh, you look at the bait fish, you look at the insects, you look at whatever you think the fish are eating and uh, what's their color, what's their pattern. And uh, I think that it, it helps to a degree. It helps mostly with the uh, fisherman's confidence. You know, if you believe in what you're throwing, you're going to use it that much harder. You're going to you're, you're, you're going to be relaxed and just going for it. If you're wondering if what you're using is going to work, you, you're going to second guess it. You're not going to pitch it that extra five, ten times. You're going to switch it up and mess yourself up. So, uh, uh, but, you know, matching the colors and the patterns of the, the local bait fish is going to make sense. But uh, the biggest deal I think people should go with, you're going to a new lake or something, you don't know what's there, is should I use light or should I use dark? Uh, if I'm going to be fishing where the sun can peek through pretty good and I know that the, the sunlight's going to glint off of it, I'm going to want a bright color, you know, get their attention. If I'm going to be fishing the shadows where they have a lot better visibility, you know, the sun's not blinding them, then you're going to want like a darker color, you know, where it's just a profile and a shadow that they're attacking anyhow, especially when the algae's in bloom. Right. What's your process in uh, matching the hatch with your baits? Uh, uh, let's say, uh, and it, let, it's more like with customers, you know, they'll call me or uh, they'll send me pictures. They say they want an ugly bug, and this is the color of my dragonflies in my area. And it'll be like a light blue and black, or it'll have spots, or it'll have bars. And uh, all I do is, is uh, when I paint the lure up, it's just going to be th those colors and somewhat of that pattern. That's uh, pretty cool. That way the customer's got something that's, you know, local to them. Right. Now... How how do you uh, how can people contact you to uh, order your product? Uh, well, I'll have a website up. Uh, I want to say uh, January, maybe middle of January. I'm working on it. Uh, it's I'm not technologically. Uh, uh, I'm not very good with it. <laughs> I'm a lot better at making bait than I am on playing on a computer. So I've been working hard on trying to figure it. Guys, I think we're having a uh, – thank you. His phone is starting to uh, catch up on us. So, uh, if you will, just uh, hang in there with us. David White, we are sorry, but uh, Bo is actually having technical problems. So, uh, we're in the process of fixing that right now. But we want to thank all the viewers for uh, stopping in. Uh Keith Collins was supposed to be doing the show today, but he actually contacted us and said that he had travel problems. And we're still having uh, technical problems, guys. We apologize. There he is. Uh, I see you now. We we uh, we lost you there for a second. Yeah, I was talking away, and I realized your face hadn't moved in like five minutes. I probably better shut up. <laughs> right. Uh but I was, you was just going into detail about how customers can contact you. Oh, yes. Uh, like I said, my website is uh, down, so you can't go on to samsonlures.com and find me at all. Um, just contact me on Facebook, Bo Merkel, or uh, my group, I'm Hooked, or uh, I've got a Samson Lures uh, group business page, you know, on Facebook. But uh, that's the, the best way to get a hold of me. Just message me directly. Here is a, a question from one of our viewers, and it is from David Wyatt. Can you do custom colors for the ugly bug? Yes, sir. I take a picture of what you want, and I will paint it up to the best of my ability. I am not a uh, great artist, but I will match your colors and patterns somewhat. Now, what uh, what's your process when designing a new bait? Like, Do you just take an idea and go with it, or what's that process like? 
Uh, uh, yeah, it's, let's say if I wanted to make a fish or a gator or any of these uh, bird, any of the animals I want to make, um, I like to do something different. You know, say say you're doing a bird, you know, that Savage Gear's got a duck out. You don't want a duck. And all these other companies have these things out, and they're already doing it. I can't beat it, so I want to do something different. Um, so when I decided to do a bird, I decided to do a blackbird. And it's just a, I, I carved a diamond shape for a head and uh, you add the wings and the feathers and and you focus on the action. Like if it's a bird, you want it to be like an old musky creeper. So you put creeper wings on it and uh, so it'll have that wobble and that, that randomness, like a, like a dying animal. Uh, but like usually I, I say I wanted a gator. I just kind of sketched out a gator on a piece of wood, cut it out on a saw, made a pattern. And then I cut it out onto a, a much thicker board and just grind it out. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's just kind of natural. Uh, and you don't make a winner every time. But uh, it's, it's really just trial and error. Right. How do you test, how long do you test your uh, baits before making them available for purchase? Oh, I test them pretty hard and I ship them out to several people. And really? tell them try. To, yeah, tell them to try to break it to, or try to critique it. Tell me how bad it is. And uh, if they have nothing but glowing responses and uh, they're too friendly with me, I won't send them no more. I want them to gripe about it a little bit. Uh, All right. Do you make uh, major changes if there's yeah. any problems? Oh yeah, and that's that's how you get a good bait. Is uh, if you if you let five people fish it and each one of them has a problem, you fix five problems of it already. And you've made it much better by the time it goes out to the general public. And you're still going to have people complain. You cannot please everybody. Do you, uh, what all products do you have available uh, for people to purchase right now? Uh, I have the ugly bug. It's a, it's a dragonfly lure. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, you work it like a popper. And uh, I do some swim baits. You know, everyone loves the big swim baits. And that's an eight inch, I don't even have a name for it, just swim bait. Uh, gators, I don't have any uh, on me at the moment. I've, I've just shipped them all out. But uh, I do a weight gator, uh, and I'll do it a custom order. I, I normally make them an eight inch gator, and it'll weigh about two ounces. But uh, I had a guy uh, in Massachusetts, of all places, ask me for a, uh, a 12 inch gator that weighed about three and a half ounces. Gosh, and uh, I made it. He and it's wonderful. Uh, I posted up swim videos and everything. It shocked me how well it turned out. But uh, and it, it's going to him now. That's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, make so sure what's your? Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna plug one more since you give me a chance. Uh, and my a lot of people's favorites is the wake mouse. I call it a barn burner. It's got kind of a. Uh, Flame carved into the back. It's a wake mouse. And you got your big treble on the, the bottom and your uh, worm hook in the back for the tail to wag. And these swim amazingly. And I was just making one to see what would happen. And it became like my new favorite. What's your, uh, so I'm guessing that's your favorite to fish out of all of them? It is. It is. And it, it's, it's an idiot bait. I love them. You cast it and retrieve it. What What's some of the best times to fish that one? That one right there is going to be good at any time that they're after that bigger prey. So you're going to want them pre-spawn, post-spawn, and, uh, of course, dog days of summer when you got to work a lot slower, a lot less power fishing. I don't know it will do so good, but uh, by once the time fall hits, until they stop hitting top water, that's going to be a go-to. Yeah, well, do you have certain lakes you think it would perform well at? Uh, yes, uh, close to me would be uh, the reservoirs I told you about. I live, of course, I live near three bigger ones on the Elk River, uh, Woods Reservoir, Tim's Ford Reservoir, and uh, uh, Normandy Lake. And uh, But a little further south, maybe an hour drive, Gunnersville, uh, that is where you use your rodents. That's that uh, They have a reputation for big bass on white mice. Right. Now, let's switch over to a little bit of the fishing you know, more general bass fishing. What's some new techniques that you would like to learn or are learning? 
I, I'd like to get better with the jig. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I've, I've focused. I, I was a finesse fanatic, you know, but I was more like your uh, your rubber worms, your lizard stuff like that. I never would throw a jig much, uh, and especially in heavy cover when it would do the best because I was just tired of breaking off. Um, uh, I got extremely good with regular finesse, but well, I'm, I'm just seeing people tear them up on jigs. I know I need to pick that game up. Right. Do you have a, a favorite jig you uh, you like to fish now? Uh, yeah, I like the swim jigs. Uh, what's that company? Uh, just Booyah. I think makes them, and I've, I've, I've enjoyed them a lot, and I just want to learn finesse jigs, and I'm not even particular on the brand, just the weights. Right. All right, I'm going to ask you some uh, some rapid questions. Uh, just pick your favorite out of the two, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up. All right. River or lake fishing? River. River. Top water or jig fishing? Top water. Shallow or deep water fishing? Shallow. All right, everyone. Well, thanks to the viewers for uh, stopping in. Make sure you go check out Bo on Facebook and get you some sands and lures. You won't be disappointed. Make sure you check out our sponsors, Bass Bully Nation and Commando Tackle Company. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be interviewing Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Keith Combs. Thanks for uh, coming on the show, Bo. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah.